Hi friends, welcome to the virtual lab of 90 plus my tuition app. Now we are going to discuss an interesting experiment that is chromatography. This is our major experiment. I am sure that the term chromatography is very familiar to you guys. Do you know the meaning of the word chromatography? It is a Greek word in which chroma means color and graphe means writing, that is color writing. Chromatography is the technique used to separate the molecules of different substances present in a solution. We will see the definition of chromatography. Chromatography is a technique that is used to separate molecules of different substances present together in a solution according to the rate they travel along the chromatographic paper or a column of absorbent material. Such a preparation is called a chromatogram. There are different types of chromatography. They are paper chromatography, column chromatography, thin layer chromatography, partition chromatography, etc. Here we are going to discuss the paper chromatography. Next, we will check out what is the objective of this experiment. It is to separate and study the plant pigments by paper chromatography. Next, we are going to list out the requirements needed for the experiment. First one is fresh spinach leaves. We have selected the spinach leaves to separate and find out the plant pigments present in it. Next is chromatographic paper. We have Wattman number no. 1 chromatographic paper for this experiment. Next is wide long test tube. Along with that, a split cork, mortar and pestle, petroleum ether, acetone, funnel, beaker, filter paper, capillary tube and sand. Now let's move on to the procedure of this experiment. First let's take some spinach leaves. Then cut this into small pieces and keep it inside the mortar. We will also add some sand into this. Do we know why we are adding sand into this? We are adding sand with the spinach leaves for the perfect grinding of the leaves. After this, we shall add 5 ml acetone into the mortar and then grind the spinach leaves using the pestle. Next, we need to filter this. For this, we will place a funnel over the test tube like this. Then we will make a filter paper in the shape of a funnel and place it inside the funnel. After this, we will pour the ground spinach leaves into the funnel. Now the extract of the leafy pigments will be filled inside the test tube. Next, we will take a strip of chromatographic paper. One end of the paper should be cut and pointed like this. Now we need to place the pigment extract over the notch or pointed end of the chromatographic paper. With the help of a capillary tube, we can place a drop of leaf extract over this pointed end. Then allow the drop to dry. Similarly, place four or five drops over the same point. Now you can see a spot over the chromatographic paper. This spot is known as loading spot. The loading spot should be small and concentrated. One thing that should be noted is that the loading spot should be placed 2 or 3 cm away from the tip of the notch. The next step we will add 5 ml ether acetone solvent into the long test tube. Ether acetone solvent is the mixture of ether and acetone in the ratio 9 is to 1. Now with the help of a split cork we shall hang the chromatographic strip inside the test tube like this. Keep in mind that the loading point should be 1 cm above the ether acetone solvent. 
and make sure that the chromatographic paper should not touch the walls of the test tube. Make the cork airtight and leave the test tube undisturbed for some time. Now let us take the chromatographic paper strip out of the test tube when the solvent rises and reaches one by fourth of the strip. Then let it dry. But another important thing to be remembered here is that the strip should not be dried in sunlight. We can use a dryer to make the chromatographic paper dry. So this is the procedure of the experiment. Now we are going to discuss the observations of this experiment. After drying the chromatographic paper strip, it will look like this. That is, here the chromatographic paper strip shows distinct pigment bands. You can see different colors on the strip now, right? That is, different leaf pigments can be identified by their colors. Here, we need to measure the distance of the different pigment bands from the loading spot and the distance traveled by the solvent through the chromatographic paper strip. It is measured by using a measuring scale. From this, we could find the RF value of each pigment spot. RF value is the retention factor value. So, the formula for detecting the RF value is the distance traveled by the compound divided by the distance traveled by the solvent. Using this formula, we can find out the RF value of each pigment. I am sure that you guys know about different pigments seen in plants and their colors. So next, let us check the result of this experiment. The uppermost orange yellow color of the chromatographic paper strip indicates the presence of pigment carotene. The RF value of carotene is 0.95. The yellowish band below the carotene indicates the presence of pigment sandophyll. The RF value of sandophyll is 0.71. The dark green band below the sandophyll represents the pigment chlorophyll A. The RF value of chlorophyll A is 0.65. And the lowermost yellowish green band indicates the presence of chlorophyll B. The RF value of chlorophyll B is 0.45. Now, I hope that you guys got a clear image of how to extract the plant pigments by using the technique of chromatography, right?